Hello, YouTube family. Patrick's Playbook here with my daughter, Mercy, for a Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers restaurant review. So quick, a quick history of Raising Cane's. This is relatively new or it's new to us in the Twin Cities. We, honestly, um, I hadn't heard of it before last week. So um, this one is kind of new for us. I did look up um, online and they have these restaurants in 32 states out of 50. So um, comment below if you guys have ever tried Raising Cane's or if you've heard of it. We just thought it was something unique and we just thought we'd bring you a fun taste test. And But before we begin, I'd like to say like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. And Mercy has a special announcement. All right, so I know you guys have been waiting for a long time for the Dollar Tree Easter banner to be painted. And it's finished. I finished it a few days ago. Um, it took about a week to do, but here it is. Yeah, like I said, this took about a week to do. I really just kind of focused um, on like shading. Like I really wanted to create like a bunch of shading on here. Um, and then also, uh, uh, I was a little bit, uh, I was kind of questioning about like, okay. um, I was kind of questioning about uh, the title here because at the end I just kind of rushed uh, on it and I like outlined it in this black pen as you can see and at first I didn't really like it I thought it looked kind of weird but now if you kind of look at it it kind of looks cool um so yeah and as you can see here we have like a lot of details I really try to put some extra details like as you can see with this flower the stripes on here um you know just kind of try to really make it stand out and so, yeah, there's the finished product. Thank you, Mercy. Hopefully everyone enjoys that. Yes. Um, so a lot of times we'll talk about we're going we're gonna to do this, we're going to do that, and then maybe we don't show it right away. So we wanted to show that to everyone. Um, before we begin the taste test, I just want to show everyone what a um, box combo meal from Raising Cane's look like. They almost exclusively have chicken tenders boxes only. And so what you get is, let me see, let me count. One, two, three, about four, five. I think it's a six piece. Yeah, I think there's six pieces of tenders in there. Fries, um, Texas toast, and a coleslaw. And then Mercy has a sweet tea. Is that what yes. your drink is? This is a sweet tea from Raising Cane's. And I am just so addicted to McDonald's Coke that I'm sticking with that. Um, so let's begin without nice. further ado. I'm so excited. We're really both really hungry. Oh, and really quick, it comes with, it came with two of these um, sauces. They call it Cane's sauce. And then we also and got two ketchups. Yes. So I am so excited. Mercy, what do you think? Should we try the chicken first? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's, stick right let's in. do this. Okay, well, mine looks like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So what mine looks like. My goodness. Woo! So we just kind of have a knife and fork down here. Um, I'm going to try one bite with sauce and one bite without. So, so what a piece of chicken my first like. one I'm going to try without sauce. Looks really juicy. Mmm. Wow. That's good. That was really good. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's really crunchy. Um, it's kind of hard, kind of tough chicken, but overall really tender also. Um, very, very juicy also. I really like how it's not too dry. Um, it's really good chicken overall. Really good. I, Should I, we try I and bite really with the like sauce it. and then score? Yes. Let's do that. All right. So here's kind of what the the sauce looks like close up. Looks really good. All right. We each have our own individual sauce. That's kind of what it looks like on the fork. And again, this is Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. 
All right, let's try with the sauce. Mmm. Good. That's really good. Am I getting kind of a Thousand Island dressing vibe from that? Yeah. Are you getting of. that? Yeah, a little, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Just to maybe a little bit. Kind of like... like a Big Mac sauce, maybe. Yeah, like kind of. also like mayonnaise. Yeah, like. mayonnaise-y. Um, you know, I'll be honest. For me, sauce is great. But for some reason, I just really enjoyed it. And I think probably I would eat this, to be honest, with like barbecue sauce. Like your favorite brand of barbecue sauce you may have in the fridge or... Uh, but I find it really delicious. Any idea on score, Mercy? Um, should we do the score with the just the chicken or the sauce too? Yeah, let's give let's give two different. Yeah. Okay. And really chicken, good. I'm going to give a nine point three. Nine point three. Wow. It's really wow. Good. Nine point really, really three. Good. So that's without the sauce. Yeah, without the sauce. <clears throat> and then. Just the sauce alone. Wait, let me try the sauce. Just, yes, just, just, just to make sauce. sure. Why don't you make sure? Mm. Ooh. So good. Sauce is really good. I would give that a 9.0. 9.0 for the sauce. Yeah. I'm going to score this chicken. A 9.2, I'll go slightly lower than Mercy. Um, I've got other restaurants, chickens, how they taste kind of in my brain, and I'm kind of kind of mentally preparing. You all know what the big chains are. I won't I won't have to mention them here, but everyone knows what the big chains are. This is really good. I'm going 9.2, which is a pretty strong A minus. Pretty strong A minus almost to an A. And I will give the sauce an 8.9, just one tenth lower than Merce. But I would 100% eat this again. Oh, yeah. I am starving. I can't wait to finish this meal off camera. Now let's try the French fries. Yes. I'm so excited. These look amazing. They're kind of crinkle cut. Crinkle cut French see. fries. And again, we bought this um, and drove it home. So it's probably 25 minutes ago, you know, so we're eating it somewhat fresh, but we're not eating it in the restaurant, as you know. You can see our lovely friends behind us. Um... Okay, so you want to you want to try one without ketchup? Uh, sure. Okay, let's each try one without ketchup. Down the hatch. Mm, I'm good. Yeah. Sauce. I mean the fries. They're mediocre. Um. Agree. They're they're not. I don't really like the texture that the yeah the texture of it. No. They're too soft. Yeah, they're a little soft. I will agree with Mercy there. Mm-hmm. I like my fries really crunchy. Yeah. So if they were just a tad crunchier, then I would yep. have liked them better. Yes. But they're just, I don't know, they're kind of soft for me. And you know, and again, they are 25 minutes yeah, old. It That's could about be how far the, the drive is. So maybe at the restaurant, they might taste just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Again, comment below. Do you guys, are you guys familiar with this restaurant at all, Raising Canes? I wasn't a week ago. So I, you know, if you guys aren't, I understand. Um, all right, now let's try a fry in ketchup. All right. This is just your regular old high yeah. ketchup. Definitely better with For ketchup. For me, that helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm a ketchup person. I don't know if I've ever said that before. I'm, I'm a ketchup person. Same. Um, hmm, yeah, the ketchup, ketchup on it affects my score a slight bit. Um, well, what do you think, Marissa? You want to score the fries? Sure. I'll get the fries like a 8.0. An 8.0, so they kind of a really B my minus. A yeah. B minus. Yeah. You know, I think I was about to go lower until I tried it with a ketchup. For some reason, the ketchup for me kind of saved it. But I'm I'm not going to go much higher. I'm going to go 8.2. 8.2, so a B minus. You know, I, I would say you don't go to Raising Cane's for the fries. You go for their... You go for their delicious chicken. Um, and we still have two more items to taste. Texas toast. Texas toast. Yummy. And this is how it looks. We'll just eat, you know, a bite each. We'll, we'll cut it with our knife and each eat a piece of that. Very big loaf and beer. Yes. So, Mercy, I will cut you a piece. Alrighty. There you go. 
You don't have to eat it all. Eat however much you want of so that. Like. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat a, a smaller piece for the taste test. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. It's very thick. Mm hmm. I don't really have, there's not really much like seasoning in it. Yeah, I don't. My first initial thought is it's just kind of there. Yeah. It's just kind of there. Um, maybe I didn't get into the really buttery part. I'm going to, mm -hmm. do you want a piece of towards the middle? Uh, sure. We might have got um, the crust a little bit on the outside maybe doesn't have as much butter. Maybe you'll taste a little more flavor here. A little more buttery. Kind of slight, slightly more buttery maybe here. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. I got a little buttery... Just a little bit, a little though. Bit. Not much. Mm, okay. I definitely have my score in mind. No, Mercy, I'll let you go first for the Texas toast. Yeah, like I said, the Texas toast is very thick. Um, I mean, I usually like bread oh, yeah. with my side. Yes. It, it just, I think it's just there to really just kind of, you know, clean your palate. Yes. Um, when you've had all that chicken, yes. all those fries. And then, you know, the Texas toast, it's just there to, you know, uh, freshen nice, up your yeah, palate. It's a nice, yeah, it's a nice, you know, addition. Good refresher. Um, but I wish I had a tad bit more seasoning yeah. because, um, I feel like if I had more seasoning, then I think, uh, it would taste better. Mm -hmm. But overall, I would give it a 8.5. 8.5. Yeah, that's pretty decent. We are going to differ the most on this item. I am going to go 7.8. And I am, I, for those of you who watch a lot of taste tests on a lot of my Dollar Tree hauls, I have a lot of nines. I have a lot of high eights. You don't see me in seven a lot. I would say, you know, I've eaten a lot of Texas toast in my life. I would say, you know, just mediocre to maybe slightly above average. I would just give it a high C plus. It definitely doesn't ruin the meal. But if you could get it without it, I probably would get it without it. But I think it just comes with it. So, you know, it's not bad. Maybe like if you went there and brought it home, you could add more butter to it or add something to it. Yeah. Um, but I am excited to try the coleslaw, to be honest. So, so 8.5 for Merce, 7.8 for me. Here's what the coleslaw looks like. You know, at first it doesn't look like a lot, but it's one of those, coleslaw is one of those deceiving things where you start to eat a little bit of it, and once you eat half of this, you'd be pretty full. This plus oh, the yeah. chicken plus the fries. This is a so big meal. So Merce, we will each, we'll just each take a forkful, one okay. forkful out of this. So it kind of looks like this up close. It's very creamy. Yes. So let's each take one forkful. We won't double dip or anything. There we go. We'll just eat one forkful each. All right. Down the hatch. Hmm. Hmm. That's some pretty good oh, coleslaw. Oh, boy. That's really good. I have a strong opinion on this. I will let Mercy go first. I have a strong opinion on this. Um... This is some pretty decent coleslaw, I, I must say. Um, I really like how creamy it is. It really just tastes like your traditional coleslaw. Um, and it, it's very good, mm -hmm. I must say. There's not, like, really good. there's not like really long bits or chunks of anything. Yes. It's really smooth mm -hmm. and it has a lot of flavor. This it, right, it really does. This right here is the refresher to your meal. I, I'll say that. Um, yeah, this... This would make me go back to Raising Cane's. This and the mm -hmm. chicken, to be honest. Oh, yeah. This is very good. What do you think for a score? 9.1. 9.1. Yeah. I am going to go up a little higher. My highest score I've ever given on this channel for any kind of taste test was a Shamrock Oreo McFlurry at 9.5. And this just misses. This just misses. It's a 9.4 for me, a very strong A. Everyone knows the biggest chicken chain in the world with the three initials. It begins with K. They are really known for their coleslaw. And I would say I like this better than theirs. This was amazing. I could eat two of these myself. This was amazing. To me, that saved the meal. That and the chicken were... Mwah. Chef's kiss. Wow. So... 
And now... Overall? Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I need to drink. I don't know about you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try the sweet tea mm. here. Let's see how this tastes. Yes, Mercy has the sweet tea from Raising Cane's, so she can give that a score as well. Hmm. Usually, I'm not much of a sweet tea person. Usually, I just prefer just regular iced tea, but... It's actually not that bad. Maybe a tad sweet for me, but... I don't think it's too sweet overall. Okay. I think it tastes really good. Very nice refresher. I'll give it a 9.1. 9.1? That's nice. Yeah. So now that you've tasted everything in this meal, what would you rate what would you rate the entire meal? The entire meal? Yes. Oh. Uh, Even including the sweet tea, come to think of it. Yeah. I would give the entire meal and 8.9 out of 10. An 8.9? Yeah. I'm gonna price this right to you. I'm gonna go one higher. I'm giving this meal a 9.0. For me, this has the Patrick's Playbook seal of approval. I would definitely go back. Oh yeah. The coleslaw, I, I seriously would be probably even more excited to eat the coleslaw than even the chicken, and I love the chicken. Um, quite honestly, rather than their sauce, I would probably put my favorite barbecue sauce on it. Just just for me personally, mm -hmm. I like the sauce. But I think for me, I just like barbecue sauce just a slightly bit better. Yeah. But comment below, guys. Are you familiar with Raising Cane's? Do they have them in your state, in your city? Have you ever tried it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Mercy, thank you so much. This was so yeah, much fun. Yeah, you're I can't, welcome. We're going to finish this meal off camera. We're oh, super yeah. excited. We'll, really be, good. we'll be battling for this bad boy. Oh, my gosh. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. And even though we're eating, keep shopping. Keep shopping.